Now a Target 12 investigators exclusive for disturbing trend. We've learned the number of calls from Providence school employees reporting child abuse has skyrocketed in recent years. A change attributed to a law that passed in 2016 and the arrest of a local principal the following year. And we obtained new data from DCYF on what child protective investigators found. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado is here now with the exclusive findings. In the course of three years, the number of calls from Providence school employees where DCYF found a child had been abused or neglected has increased sevenfold. It was the summer of 2017 when Harry Kazarian principal Violet Lamar was charged for failing to report alleged child molestation by a Providence gym teacher to the Department of Children, Youth and Families under a new law passed the year before that required school employees report any knowledge of sexual abuse of a child within 24 hours. Her arrest corresponded to a spike in reports to DCYF. Before the 2016 law, in 2015, there were 56 calls to DCYF's hotline from Providence school employees that turned out to be indicated. That means DCYF investigated the call and found abuse or neglect. By 2017, it was up to 417 calls that were indicated. In 2018, 401. And the numbers are on track to hit 400 or more again in 2019. This data does not include calls calls that turned out to be unfounded. Those numbers seem scary to me. We brought the numbers to Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green, who took control of Providence Schools on Friday. Student safety is the most important part for me, and it should be for every adult in the building. So we need to get this right. Well, I was taken aback. State Representative Marvin Abney sponsored the House version of that school employee reporting law in 2016. It tells me that, uh, personally, this kind of abuse has been going on all the time, but it just simply wasn't reported. These are what DCYF will send us. Those they? reports from DCYF end up on Providence Sergeant Mike Wheeler's desk. If we don't read every one, I'm afraid we're going to miss something. So rather than reading 56 indicated reports, now we're reading over 400. He says most reports that DCYF considers abuse or neglect don't rise to the level of a crime. There were 22 criminal child abuse cases in Providence in 2015. That rose to 32 in 2018. Wheeler says multiple teachers sometimes call about the same allegation. People are nervous. People are afraid. I think people are aware of this case and what happened to Violet and they're scared. Tom Gulick is Violet Lamar's attorney. She pleaded no contest in August to the misdemeanor charge of failure to report. Was she aware of the law that had passed that said she had to report it to DCYF within 24 hours? No, and nobody was. School employees were asked to sign this form acknowledging the new law ahead of the 2017-2018 school year, but that was more than a year after it became law. Did Ms. Lamar regret um, what she did? Absolutely. Um, she wishes she could have done more, and uh, unfortunately, she lost a career over this. In an effort to reduce duplicate calls, lawmakers updated the law last year so employees could tell an administrator about alleged abuse who would then call DCYF. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Now new details on a Target 12 investigators exclusive, Disturbing Trend. Live at 5, we told you about a sharp rise in Providence School employees reporting child abuse to the DCYF. We found the number of abuse reports has gone up more than 600% in three years. It tells me that, uh, personally, this kind of abuse has been going on all the time, but it just simply wasn't reported. New at 6, Target 12 investigator Steph Machado goes to the state's top, education, uh, top educator to find out what's being done about the increase. There is disagreement about why the number of abuse investigations is so high, but everyone we talked to thought there needs to be more training surrounding child abuse. The spike in abuse reports to DCYF from Providence School employees appears tied to both the new reporting law passed in 2016 and subsequent arrest of Harry Kazarian Elementary School Principal Violet Lamar in 2017. The numbers going from 56 reports called into DCYF from school employees in 2015 to more than 400 last year. And these are only the calls where DCYF investigators say they found abuse or neglect, not the unfounded ones. You know, 
These numbers have made me very uncomfortable. We brought the numbers to State Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green, who, as of Friday, has taken control of the Providence Public Schools. After seeing the numbers, I'm alarmed, so I think we need to make sure that everybody knows what to do and, you know, what's appropriate. I think there's a lot of training that needs to happen. Maybe training, real training, with all the parties involved, police, DCYF and the district together. Providence Teachers Union President Mary Beth Calabro says she doesn't feel teachers were properly trained in the 2016 law requiring school employees report sexual abuse to DCYF within 24 hours. Documents obtained by Target 12 show employees were asked to sign this paper ahead of the 2017-2018 school year acknowledging they knew about that law. That was more than a year after it passed and after Lamar was charged with failing to report a child abuse claim. Where things went wrong was the dissemination of the new law was not made uh, available to the administrators, uh, employees of the school. There was no training, no workshops. Calabro said Lamar's arrest for failing to report a gym teacher accused of child molestation led to teachers calling DCYF more often. I think that heightened everyone's anxiety, fear, awareness, whatever the case may be. And so we had many people calling. Obviously we had that spike because that principal was um, identified and terminated, but that shouldn't be the reason. The reason should be because we suspect that something is being done to children. The law was updated in 2018 to try and prevent too many duplicate calls about the same allegation. Teachers can now report to an administrator who makes one call to DCYF. If we can save a child from being in a situation that obviously is beyond their control, then that's our responsibility. So far, the law change has not slowed down the rate of indicated abuse reports coming from the schools. On track again this year to reach 400. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.